Cybertruck is real and it is coming and it is imminent. But what they need now is ads. Oh yes, of course. They need so many ads because this thing's not going to sell itself. You guys forget the backlog. Nope. We need some good old fashioned Dewey, Dewey. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. <laughs> Huge thanks to my newest supporters on X, my subscribers who are actually uh, helping the channel, Carl, Matthäus, and uh, Andrew. Thank you guys so much for your decision to support the channel. Uh, the ads don't pay well, and uh, this is how I'm able to keep going to do things like go to Texas next week in a matter of days to cover the big event there. Not, not from the location, unfortunately, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and everybody else, you can like uh, do the Patreon thing, the YouTube thing, the X thing, or use my referral code. It all works. So yeah, advertising execs, guys, you uh, you need us. This business doesn't happen on its own. No, you need you need real advertising. Now I've had some some uh, some of my friends say, "Boy, what do you think the Cybertruck ads are going to look like?" I said, I don't think there's going to be ads. They go, surely there will. They'll show off the safety. Heck, they might do Super Bowl commercials. I've had some of my patrons even suggest maybe they should, in, you know, give one to a celebrity. Maybe that's a way to do it. The problem is it's not just the cost of the truck. Celebrities also get paid kajillions to drive the trucks or cars, whatever it is. It's a brand deal. It ain't free. But do they need it? I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an advertising exec. I'm, what is your objective? Well, what I'd like, if possible, is to get people to flock to my showrooms to see the new car. Flock? Can't happen. You can't do it. It does not happen. A halo car <laughs> is, well, let's just see what happened. This is a little uh, video of a, of a line at Bellevue Square Mall, I think. I'm not sure. This is a line of people waiting just to see the truck that they can't touch or drive. Can't touch it or drive it. Uh, this is Tampa. So this is in Tampa, lying around the corner, a bouncer. This is pretty unusual, right? This is it uh, in Bethesda, Maryland. Big old crowd. You want a crowd gathered around your car? We've got it. And this is not for everyone. It's a halo car. The halo sheds light, it casts light over the whole rest of the brand. There are people who will go in to see this, couples, where one of them will say, boy, this is, this is it, this is our next car, honey. And the other will say, no, it isn't. Although I would like that X that they've got over there, or the Y, or the 3, or the S. There's, some, there's almost something for everyone. There isn't a compact yet, we'll get to that. Not in this video, but as a brand. This is uh, from Lightning Ryan Fulcher, friend of the channel. This is something he shot at Bellevue Square. That he shot at Bellevue Square. It is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. It's got, uh, this is it, coming down the escalator. Look at that crowd. What brand can do that? What vehicle can do that? How much advertising do you need when this is what's going on? And these people got their phones out. They're shooting it, baby. It's going up on the Instas and the and the Xs and the faces of book. Oh, so crazy. And there's, of course, uh, this is the line to get in to this particular showroom, also in Bellevue. This is uh, Montgomery Mall in Maryland. This is a line outside. There's security because <laughs> this is... I'm going to just say this has never happened. Uh, have, certainly not in the, since the 70s. Certainly not in the last 50 years. Another line? I mean, th these posts are endless. And, and people are talking about it. We're talking about it. People are Instagramming it. And, and if you'd like to do a test drive, they're taking names. But they might call you and see, hey, would you like to test drive anything else? That's happening. They are following up. This is such a, a crowd this big around something that is, at the end of the day, just a car. I don't care how beautiful your piece of equipment is. It doesn't draw a crowd like this. This is in Langley, B.C. 
up in Canada, the line and people excited. Uh, this is in Maryland again. I guess we've got a few shots from Maryland. A big crowd of people, all of them taking pictures, all of them telling a friend. Big crowd, big crowd. Do we, this again from Canada, from Langley, BC. A line to get in the door to look at a car you can't touch, you can't buy yet, you can't drive, you can't test drive it yet. This is every executive's fantasy. And this is the competition's nightmare. The eHummer didn't do this. The Lucid doesn't do this. The Rivian doesn't. The Rivian's a good-looking truck. The reviews I've seen are quite good of everything apart from the charging network, which isn't quite their fault. It's all, it's nothing compared to this. How much would you pay if an advertising executive said, you don't pay me one penny unless I produce results like this? How much would that ad cost? It would be a billion dollar campaign because nothing can deliver these results. And this is, uh, we've seen, this is from the same crowd we saw before. I recognize this uh, gal in this uh, maroon top here. But it's huge. This is in San Diego. San Diego. Ron Burgundy uh, did helpfully tell us what that means. I did, for I did not know. And it's everywhere. By the way, thank you uh, to me tonight. To me tonight, Tony. Hmm. Thank you, Phil, for... Uh, Phil a generator. Philaginator. For sending me this, I have used it. I found it that useful. And I, of course, hearted it because I am not a monster. What would you pay for this? Let's say, so we're not going to do ads. There's not going to be traditional advertisements for this vehicle because there are already 2 million orders. There are surely more orders now. And if 90% of those orders cancel, it's still going to be a year and a half to two years before you would get yours. Place your order now, by all means, but they can't build them fast enough. And we will see when we finally discover the price, when we finally discover the final specs, we will see how strong the demand really is. And I imagine it'll cover the normal kind of cost curve you see with every new Tesla, which is to say it's going to start a little high an inch down as it makes sense. As the economies of scale improve and pricing improve, costs improve, pricing can improve. As the demand from people willing to pay this is depleted, they'll move down a little. We've seen it with other models. There are people who paid 80, 90,000 for a Model 3 when they were brand new because that's just what they cost. The demand is sky high. Well, this, this, well, it's a novelty. It'll never sell. I wouldn't. If someone's telling you that, I would look at any of the other advice they've given you and figure out if any of it makes sense. Because I see a lot of these folks on social media spouting the same craziness over and over and expecting that this time we'll take them seriously. Why would I take you seriously this time? You are a clown. Yeah. Would you like to see one? Yourself? Uh, kind of hard to read. I'll zoom in a little. But this is on a abettertheater.com's website. They uh, make an app for the car. I haven't used it. I can't tell you anything about it. Uh, they are not a sponsor, but uh, they have helpfully put together this list and we have got, <laughs> zooming doesn't help. Okay. And they have got uh, New York City, San Jose, Buena Park, California, San Diego, Tampa, Matthews, North Carolina, Miami, Chicago, Bellevue, Washington, Houston, Littleton, Colorado. Oh, that one's already there. That's right. Dublin, California, Surrey, British Columbia, Bethesda, Maryland, and rumored to be coming soon, Edmonton, Toronto, Nashville, Troy, Michigan, Clarkson, Brandon, Missouri, and Liberty Lake, Washington, over by Spokane. More of these are going to be coming on, maybe not every day, but maybe every day. These are getting out there. And it, there's no cost and there's no risk. 
Because if there's a delivery that's going to happen in your state, they'll pop it in the showroom, let no one touch it. And then a few days later, let you come and pick it up. Easy. Done. And I assure you, there are orders near you that already exist within the first 20,000, I would guess. The odds are very good. So thank you to everyone who uh, supports the channel. I'm going to be in Texas uh, coming up. I'm leaving the morning of the 28th, and I will be in Austin. I will be uh, at the Luster Pearl after party uh, doing the live stream with Zach and Jesse and a number of other big, big names. Very excited about that. Finally getting a chance to introduce myself properly to the good folks of Austin after low these many trips. Uh, so I will not be hosting my own event, but I will be part of theirs. Very excited about that. So what did I miss? What did I misunderstand? How excited are you to see it? Have you seen it? Will you see it? When will you see it? And if you've made it this far in the video and you're not excited, definitely leave a comment because you're quite the unicorn. I don't know why you'd subject yourself to this if this ain't yo jam. To everybody else, like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, do what you do. And uh, to all you other clever robots out there, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you on the flippity-flop.